Hey everyone, Randy Ahmad here. Uh, thanks so much for uh, joining me today and uh, visiting my channel. Um, what is happening with interest rates, mortgage interest rates? Are they really tumbling? Is it all coming? Uh, is it all coming down? Are we going back to normal? Are we all? What what exactly is happening? So, in this video, I want to go ahead and take just a couple of minutes to help uh, clarify a few of what the experts are saying out there in terms of what is really happening to mortgage interest rates. But before I do that. I need your help. Um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. So um, appreciate that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. Uh, are mortgage rates, quote, tumbling? And, and in all honesty, I got this um, headline off of the uh, Freddie Mac website, and it kind of caught my attention uh, a couple of days ago, and I figured, you know what? Let me go ahead and put an email together on my thoughts, and uh, again, what you know what the sources uh, are saying out there and kind of put that in an email together so again if you if you are not subscribed to my email i encourage you to go ahead and get that done i don't spam you um, but if you want to get added to my list that gets sent out um you know every you know every 10 days or so every couple of weeks uh, go ahead send me an email uh, you can find my information down below and i'll make sure to add you anyways let's get started so there's a lot of chatter out there right um as to what's happening to mortgage interest rates it's coming down what's happening to inflation you know there's a couple of things here i found on kiplinger and uh, financial times u.s inflation eases right uh, inflation shows sign of improvement that sort of thing so there's a lot of chatter out there and um like i said i just want to make sure that we bring clarity as to what exactly is happening out there and i want to start off by saying uh giving this quote off of uh from lawrence yoon and he's the uh, chief uh Econo economist uh, with NAR and the, the National, National Association of Realtors. And he says, a return to our normal spread between the government borrowing rate and the home purchase borrowing rate will bring the 30-year mortgage rates down to around 6%. So a couple of things that we want to break down here. Uh, normal spread, we'll get into that in just a second, but let's define what the government borrowing rate is. The home purchase rate uh, is is clear, right? It's the um, it's a thirty year mortgage rate, the thirty year fixed. But government borrowing, what is that? And that refers to the ten year T note, ten year Treasury note, and it's essentially a debt obligation issued by and backed by the United States government. And what they do is they pay a fixed interest rate uh, on these on these notes. All right, and uh, this is if you ever wanted to, this is just a, a source uh, that we kind of monitor uh, every couple of days um, as to what's happening with the t-note and you can just go to the wall street journal and you can copy i'll have that link in the description below and uh, you can check that out as well but so what exactly is the correlation what is that that spread that we referred to earlier and essentially what that is is if you take the 10-year t-note and monitor its trend and you take the 30-year fixed rate and you monitor its trend the difference between the two which is what they call the spread averages about 1.7 percent or 107 is it 170 basis points i think but if you over for almost the last 50 years the spread between the two right has been 1.7 percent on average and the mortgage rate has moved in unison with the 10-year t-note so let's break this down a little further and uh, let's let's take a look and see what the 10-year t-note has done since the beginning of the year this year of 2022 from the beginning of the from the beginning of uh you know ending in december 2021 you can see that it's been a steady in, uh, increase in the interest rate of the 10-year uh, t-note and just last month it was at four and a quarter and then last week or this week you notice that it dropped to 3.7 so why is that? And the answer to that is is fairly simple, and it goes back to what we just uh, looked at at the beginning of this uh, this video in terms of inflation is easing, and then there's you know it's not as bad as it we it's not as bad as we thought. Okay, so to drive this point home as to the correlation between the uh, ten year T note and the uh, the thirty year fixed mortgage, let's take a look at this next slide. Well, if we were to look at today, or sorry, in the last twenty. Uh, years, you'll see that from 2000 to 2021, the average T note was paying 3.49%. The average spread between the mortgage rate was 1.79, which we said was the average, right? So the mortgage, the 30 year fixed mortgage was around 5.28%. So that in the last 21 years or so. But if you look at it today, 
you'll see that the T note is 3.7%. And the mortgage rates as of last week, you know, after hitting the highs of uh, 7%, it dipped down to 6.6%. But you'll notice that the spread is a lot higher. So at 2.91%. Why is the case? Well, mortgage lenders, they just want to charge a little bit more right now because of either volatility or just know that people are just going to refi when rates go down. Okay. Uh, it's probably, it's probably the, the simplistic answer to that. And then now, why are mortgage rates not five and a half percent? And this goes, so again, if, if we kept the average spread of 1.79%, that will bring the mortgage interest rates at around five and a half percent. But why are they not five and a half percent today? Well, we said, because obviously the spread is a lot higher. Lenders are want to making, they want to make a little bit more money at this point. And uh, simple fact is volatility. Now, as we continue to hear positive news with regards to inflation, inflation is dropping and that sort of thing, then, and there is stability in the market, we can start to see things start going back to normal and the, and the spread go back to around 1.79%. I want to end this video with a few quotes as to what the experts are saying with regards to what's happening to mortgage interest rates. And I start off by Ali Wolf, uh, chief economist at Zonda. And she says that the housing market is expected to face continued uncertainty heading into 2023 as consumers and financial markets and policymakers work through their respective challenges in today's market, in today's economy. And in a nutshell, what this is saying is that, hey, we're going to, it's looking, it, we're going to have turbulence. We're going to have our, our scenarios of ups and downs. And uh, as we touch down, hopefully, and things start to normalize and stabilize, we are going to experience turbulence in the meantime. Uh, Barry Habib of MBS Highway says, because we see a slowdown and we see the inflation comparisons start to become more and more favorable, meaning it's looking better, you'll start to see that inflation that inflation number move lower, 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 lower. And as a result, mortgage rates should move similarly on a downward trajectory, probably giving us around 5%, below 5% within the next six months. And that's, I think that's pretty much self-explanatory. And then we finally end with Bill McRide of the Calculated Risk blog. And he says, my current view is that inflation will, will ease quicker than the Fed currently expects. And for everybody's sake, I hope this, this holds true. Now, what I want to end with is that in a nutshell, what's happening as we wrap up is that we're, not, we're clearly not out of the woods yet. We're getting hints and we're getting signs that things are ticking back up and things are looking positive. And, um, but uh, like I said earlier, we're, we're going to expect, we're going to ex experience turbulence. It's going to be bumpy. Uh, you know, we're going to have our ups, we're going to have our lows, but hopefully things will hold steady for us in the future. But to that end, I want to say thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, have yourself a happy, uh, blessed Thanksgiving week. And again, don't forget, don't forget, please, uh, hopefully if you find value to this in this video, please give me a like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.